two of our mid-range contenders will be battling it out for the best sub-20,000 peso price tag. Who do you think will come out on top? Pubuhay Manila, this is Drew from ManilaShaker.com and join me in our latest phone-off between the Vivo V5 Plus versus the Asus Zenfone 3 5.5. Starting with the Zenfone 3 5.5, the chamfered metal frame is sandwiched by a 2.5D curved glass panel. Placed at the reflective glass backing will be a rear-mounted fingerprint sensor, reminiscent of the volume rocker of the older Zenfone 2. Right above it will be a protruding camera flanked by dual-tone LED flash, face detection, and laser autofocus. The top portion is a standard affair with the earpiece, LED notification light, ambient light, and proximity sensor, and a selfie camera for the front panel. The chin will be housing the non-backlit navigation keys. Up top sits the headphone jack and a noise cancelling mic, while at the bottom houses the USB Type-C port and a speaker grill. On the other hand, literally, is the iPhone-esque design of the V5 Plus clad in metal with the same antenna line location. The main camera with LED flash is situated at the top left portion, with the Vivo logo squarely at the middle. The top and bottom antenna lines run along the edge and curves to the side to meet the front panel. The chin will be housing the home button that doubles as a fingerprint sensor flanked by two non-interchangeable backlit navigation keys. Nothing will be seen at the top portion of the frame. The headphone jack resides at the bottom along with a micro USB port and a speaker grill. The V5 Plus has a smaller footprint thanks to its compact and round 4 making it easier to hold. The Zenfone 3 5.5 might appeal more to others with the dual 2.5D curved glass panels compared to the tired Apple look, making it the winner this round. Both contenders will be battling it out in the 5.5 inch 1080p category with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 as its first line of protection. The Vivo V5 Plus comes with an IPS LCD, while the Zenfone 3 5.5 will be sporting a Super IPS panel. As per standard LCD flare, viewing angles are great with natural color reproduction, but the V5 Plus had a bit of an oomph in the brightness factor comparing. Response time will be the only difference for the two panels, but this is hardly noticeable during usage. Both met with no problems when being used under direct sunlight. We are giving this one a tie. Both contenders will be sporting a 16 megapixel face detection autofocus f2.0 main camera with laser autofocus for the Zenfone 3 5.5. During daylight, the V5 Plus shot the most accurate rendition of an image, while the Zenfone 3 5.5 had some white balance issues seen here. Inner shots were sharper and cooler for the Zenfone 3 5.5, but the difference is hardly noticeable for the unpaid eye. The same can be said in low light scenarios when taking photos of objects in close proximity. Even with LED flash, the details and colors are on par with one another, but the V5 Plus provided a brighter image overall. Shooting at night will only capture lights and a few objects for both, while the Zenfone 3 5.5 had better handling on color reproduction. Video recording maxes out at 4K for both our contenders, but the Zenfone 3 pulls ahead with optical image stabilization in tow. Selfie games are upped on the V5 Plus with the whopping 20 megapixel main camera together with an 8 megapixel one right beside it. The 8 megapixel for the Zenfone 3 5.5 just pales in comparison. Selfies are sharper and brighter with an added depth of field making the subject, me, stand out even more. Selfies at night are not taken in vain as the Vivo V5 Plus also includes a front facing LED flash. We decide in the comment section which one does it for you, but the Vivo V5 Plus definitely pulls ahead in the selfie game. Both our contenders will be coming into the fight with the Snapdragon 625 clocked at 12.0 GHz paired with 4GB of RAM. The experience stems away from that, however, as either smartphones will be coming with different flavors of Android. It's the Fun Touch OS for the V5 Plus and Zen UI for the Zenfone 3 5.5. Antutu Benchmark scores reveal that the V5 Plus pulls slightly ahead with 62,000 points compared to 58,000 for the Zenfone 3 5.5. As a capable mid-range chip, daily tasks and casual games will be a piece of cake for our contenders. Even with few apps running in the background, performance is still smooth overall. Other devices performed decently well with smooth gameplay when playing Real Racing 3 and Gangster Vegas 4. As for the fingerprint sensor, the V5 Plus unlocked a little bit faster met with the same accuracy for either contenders. 
after giving this one a tie. The Zenfone 3 5.5 is being powered by 3000 mAh battery while the V5 Plus will have an extra 160 mAh juice. As we test battery endurance for both, Zenfone 3 5.5 provided longer usage time with about 4 hours at screen on time compared to only 3.5 hours on the V5 Plus. When charging both devices, the Zenfone 3 5.5 took 2 hours while the V5 Plus finished 10 minutes earlier. The Zenfone 3 5.5 wins this one. When watching videos and listening to music via the loudspeaker, the V5 Plus produced a crispier tone that was more enjoyable comparing. Support for high-resolution audio playback via audio accessories are available for both for a better immersive experience. The V5 Plus wins this one by a hair. The Vivo V5 Plus is currently retailing for 19,990 pesos or about 402 US dollars. This is compared to the Asus Zenfone 3 5.5 that starts at 18,995 pesos or 380 US dollars. Both our contenders are capable of being your next daily driver, but it's just hard to dismiss the V5 Plus with the dual camera setup for your perfect selfie that this is in addition to only a thousand peso difference. What do you think of our contenders on this phone off? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, don't forget to hit that like button as it tells us if you want to see more videos like this. If you have any questions, you can hit me up on Twitter at Ginuhit. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest in tech from ManilaShaker.com. Once again, this has been Drew. Mabuhay, Manila.